Hey everyone, this is Carolyn with Hollywood First Look Features and I'm here at the carpet for Downsizing, where Vietnamese American actress Hong Cho has been nominated for a Golden Globe, a SAG Award, and a Critics' Choice Award for her role in this film. Let's check it out. What was it like playing single mom, Krista? Well, I'm a, I'm a married mom, Carrie, so it wasn't that far off. Um, it was, um, you know, I, I think the, the whole crux of my part was about a, a mom who her, her child comes first, her son, and I'm a mom of a son. So um, it wasn't that far of a stretch, the idea that, you know, you want something in life, you, uh, it would be nice to have, but you got a kid and now is not the time. Yeah. What was this experience like working with Alexander? I can't say enough good things about working with Alexander. I, if I could only ever work with uh, one person again, it would be him. I am. I am so grateful to have had this opportunity. I am. I. You say. You know. You come to these things and you say, Oh, we all had a lovely time. Everybody got along. I worship him. He just. He's a true artist. A true gentleman. Tell me, what was it like working with Alexander Payne? Um, you know what, he's so talented and such a visionary and so creative. Um, I just read, when I first read the movie, I was like, wait, what? They gonna shrink the people that way, wait, what? Honey, I shrunk the everyone? Honey, I shrunk the everyone, what? So I was happy to be a part of it because it, the subject matter was so delicious. So you're, you're very familiar with the award season train and with everything you know surrounding Hong. What's the, what is the one piece of advice you would give her? I, I would never mix up in her business. She does it gracefully, beautifully, kindly, and charmingly. What, what advice of mine does she need? So I wanted to ask you, she is like the big breakout star. Everyone is loving her performance. So I was I know, I'm really jealous. <laughs> <laughs> what was the secret, the spark that you saw in her? Like, wow, she's perfect for this role. A director of a film does nothing other than look and identify. And that starts with casting. And the old cliche is the truest, which is... 95% of directing is casting. If I can do that well, then I don't really have to do much of anything else very well. <laughs> because the audience is, you know, you got to make sure the script is good and the casting is good. And when she walked in, mercifully early in my process of looking for a Vietnamese woman, because I don't know any Vietnamese actresses, uh, it was just clear. Congratulations. Thank you. How has it, you've, you've said that this has been a love story in a way, or a love song, love letter to your parents. How is that, how, explain that a little bit more. Well, I've never seen a movie that's able to take the Vietnamese refugee experience and, and show it in a way that wasn't um, uh, entirely emotionally debilitating for an audience because when something is really difficult, uh, it's, it's hard for an audience to really take it in because it is so much. So I loved what Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor have done with this story where they, they took inspiration from the Vietnamese refugee experience and they were able to put it in this really creative and uh, entertaining story. In writing the script, you know, you could have, I guess in a way you could have picked, you know, any other ethnicity. I mean, what, what drew you to writing her, her character as a Vietnamese? As Vietnamese specifically? Well, look, we're making an American movie with a white male protagonist, but we're dealing with a story premise that would have repercussions around the world, both positive and negative. Positive and funny in some of the funny ways you see in the film, but also negative because for sure repressive governments would use this to in uh, unpleasant ways. And we also, we had uh, America, we had Europe represented in a lead character and for the third lead we thought well let's try a let's try Asia and sadly Vietnam has a human rights record which is less than perfect and they also export goods to the United States which I needed for practical script writing purposes so she wound up being Vietnamese get up and open your eyes the world is filled with things to see you may find yourself in another
with a beautiful wife.